This week, it's a completely fair setup, and yet you will read their mind without their permission. This episode of Scam School brought to you by GoDaddy. In the darkest night, in the skeeziest bar, in the loudest, most obnoxious drunk corner, that's where you'll find Scam School. The only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the streets. I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and this week we have nothing short of a mind-reading miracle. Imagine a completely fair setup, a totally free choice, and yet at the end, you show you predicted the whole thing from the beginning. Let's check this one out. OMG, I'm so excited about this trick. We've got Heather and Marissa, both from California, right? Yes. Okay, excellent. Now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna play a little game. I'm gonna start by marking up these coasters. And since we have three of us here and I need three icons, I'm gonna make one icon for Brian, that'll be a B. We'll do one for Heather, and we'll do one for Marissa. So here's what I want you guys to do. I'm gonna give each of you markers and coasters so I want you to label one B, one H, and one M for Brian, okay. Heather, and Marissa. We're gonna set up three lines just like this. Now you guys hold on to half those, give me the other half. There you go, awesome, all right, there we go, right here. Here's what I'm gonna do. Right now we got three lines. We got the Brian line, that's me right over here. Okay. We got the base line, B, H, and M right there. And then finally we got the Heather and Marissa line right down here. Mm -hmm. Here's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm making a prediction. And I'm gonna put down my cards and we'll see if my prediction matches, okay? I'm gonna mix these around. Yes. And yes. And yes. Now here's the thing. You can place down those three cards in any position you want. The only rule is don't match up a B with a B, an H with an H, an M and a T. Anything else you wanna do, whatever order you want, you guys discuss it. Just lay them out on the Heather and Marissa line. Okay. We're ready. Are you ready? You, you know what? You can even turn them face up if you want. Oh, yeah. We, Why not? That's fine. Okay. There we go. So good. You don't have a B on the B. You don't have an H on the H. Mm -hmm. You don't have an yeah. M on the M. Now remember, before we began, I explained everything, laid it all out. You had a totally free choice, and you chose to put an M here, a B here, and an H here. Yes. My prediction from the beginning was that we would have an M here, a B here, and an H there. Well done. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no denying, jerk face. You definitely predicted no. what we were gonna do. <laughs> but here's the thing, dude. Does that fry your brain? Because you had a totally free choice. You could have gone any other way you want. And yeah, yet, I knew a... exactly how it was gonna come out. Oh, are you curious? Next are you no? <laughs> are you ready to find out how this is yeah. done? Well, then all we have to do is thank our sponsors, and I will reveal the secret. Yay! All right, we got to take a moment and thank the people who make Scam School possible. And today, it's one of our oldest, bestest friends, Scam School sponsors of all time. Talking about our friends over at GoDaddy. GoDaddy.com. You know that they have 99.9% .9 uptime, super cheap domains. 24-7 support and no annual commitment, but did you know that they make you more popular? For example, we got this sweet code, SCAM10 at checkout. Gets you a domain for $7.99, and you can point that domain anywhere. And I kid you not, just five minutes before we went live, I used my mobile phone app to register likemedammit.com. You know how I'm always saying, oh, you should follow me on Twitter and like me on Facebook and be my BFF on Google Plus. This is one URL that gives you all of that. Just go to like me, damn it, and click yes on everything so you and I can be best friends forever. Like me, damn it. And use promo code SCAM10 at checkout. Super cheap domains. All right, Heather and Marissa, what's your theory? What do you, how do you think it's done? Because it was totally fair. You really could have no, put yeah. it any way you wanted. Maybe some luck. Luck definitely, mm -hmm. definitely played a factor in it. Some math. Some math. You know what? I did no math. But logic definitely plays a key in it. What else you got? Um, um, Don't um, say wizardry because th there was no wizardry in this shenanigans, thing. Shenanigans? No. There was shenanigans. There. No! Okay, yes! In <laughs> fact, there were so many shenanigans. Here's the thing. Uh, number one, this looks like a totally random setup right here. You'll notice that I start off with my prediction face down and I right, tell huh? you, 
I tell you that you really can arrange the numbers or letters or whatever it is you do any way you want. And in this case, I figure that people are more interested in people than abstract ideas like numbers or letters. So I make sure to assign one as a Brian, one as a Heather, and one as a Marissa, just like that. And I tell you, you can set them down any way you want right. with one rule. What's the one rule? Can't be a B and an H and an M. Right, can't be a B on a B, right? Right. Which means that for this one, there's really only two choices. It's either gonna be an H right. or it's really gonna be an M. Mm -hmm. right. And for this one, there's really only two choices. It's either gonna be or it's going to be an M, mm -hmm. right? It turns out that of all the, even though it looks like there's a bunch of different possibilities, there's really only two. Right. It's mm -hmm. either gonna be HMB or it's gonna be MBH, right? right? So really what looks like a wild, uh, different assortment of choices basically comes down to two. Right. And I was fully prepared for either of the two situations. Because you notice, I've made sure to very carefully craft my words to say I'm making a prediction. I'm gonna lay down my cards and we'll see if it matches my prediction. Now in this case, I made sure to lay it down with M, B, and H just like so. And it, and it happened to work out that it exactly matched yours. Right. Which knowing that, I made sure to turn over. I'm like, oh look, I got M, B, and H. Yeah. So let's go into the TARDIS and go back to an alternate reality I see. in which You'd you did something that totally one over different. There? No, 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 no. That would be obvious if I oh. moved it over there, right? So instead, let's do an alternate reality where it was the other, it was not MBH. You arrange it in the other situation. And we'll all play act oh, here. No. This one. See? <laughs> there it goes. Oh, H M B, did you? Well, you can okay. see here on the Brian line, I put M B. H. On the baseline, we started with B H M, and you selected H M B. And remember, I said I wanted the cards to match the prediction, and that's exactly what they did. That's cool. See, and you never now. Obviously, with the benefit of hindsight, you're like, well, this is stupid. I would never be fooled right. by this. But no. I never told you in advance yeah. what the situation and was going to be. And if we Bruce okay, well, screw you. Yes, you are correct <laughs> on like that. That's amazing. Magicians call this the multiple out scenario. The idea is, is that you have multiple climaxes to your effect already pre-set right. up. And the beauty of this is there's only two ways that the outcome can happen. So you just make sure to prepare yourself for both of them. So the question is, do you guys follow this well enough that you could do the trick for me? Yes, Brian, I yes think we do. Yeah. All right, no, that's, sure. that's a yes from Heather, which means Heather is gonna perform the trick. <laughs> Welcome to my show. I understand you've got some magic wizardry powers you want to show me. What's up? I've been studying, and here's the thing. At Hogwarts, I'm... you've been learning how <laughs> yeah, to get exactly. drunk and deal with I coasters. I forgot my wand, yes. but here's the baseline. Brian, that's you. That's me. Heather, that's me. Right. Marissa? Yes. Right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a prediction, and hopefully it's going to work out. Okay. Okay. And then you all will choose what order and things like that, and I'm going to go crazy and make a prediction right all now. All right, all right. And you know your one rule, right? You can't match up with the exact letter. Oh, okay. So Different if I put a B here, exactly. I can't put a no, B right yeah, here or an H right fail. there or an H. Yeah, of course. Because yeah. okay, it's been done. It's already so been done. I think it's like that. All right. And I'm going to think it's like that, and I'm going to do like this. And you want me to put stuff on the Brian line? Yes. Yeah, but okay. I have a prediction. All right. Got it. Got it. Got it. I'm going to flip mine, and then I want you to flip yours. Okay, so you did an eight. An M. M. And a B. And a B. Right, of course. Well, I mean, I did, I did an M, a B. And an H. It right. looks like we have a random mishmash Wait of cards. Minute. These don't match at all. Before you got here. Wait a minute. There the Brian that. line says MBH. The baseline is BHM. And the Heather and Marissa line says HMB, which means you're a true wizard. I believe in magic Cheers. again. Well done, Bye. ladies. First and foremost, huge tip of the hat to Scott Cram over at the Gray Matters blog for sending this our way. It was originally a Martin Gardner idea, and what I love about this trick is how versatile it is. You can do it with playing cards, you can do it with the names of the people participating, you can do it with Larry, Moe, and Curly. Just pick any three things, get started, grab some coasters, and you're going to blow some minds. I want to see how creative you guys can get with this scam. And I want you to post your success stories and failure stories at the forums at scamschool.tv, where you can see all of our episodes right back to episode one. If you want to suggest your favorite bar scam, write me directly at brian at revision3.com. And if you and me want to be BFFs in real life, why don't you hit up my Google Plus over at gplus.2 slash wood. 
Now next week, you're not going to want to miss it. We have an actual alchemist who claims he can transmute gold and silver into pizza simply by calling 1-800-PAPA-DOMINOES Pizza Hut DiGiorno's Little Caesars. Screw you. Pizza, pizza. First and foremost, want to give a tip of the hat to Scott Cram over the Gray Matters. Is that a booger? Do I, I think I have a booger? This week, it's a completely free choice, and yet you will read their minds. You're like a mind invader that sneaks in the back door of their mind and roots around and smells their underwear. And you're just like, oh, mind underwear, so delicious. But you're perverted. You shouldn't be doing that. That's their mind. That's their mind underwear, and you don't belong in there. And you need to go to a clinic for a few years until you get your head right. Then you'll go to a halfway house, and then maybe you can meet some of your old friends. But until then, you're a bad person.